It's a very sad day for us here at News 4. Today we said goodbye to our beloved friend and member of our News 4 family, reporter Catherine Craig. Kat's funeral was held today at St. Ignatius Loyola Church on the Upper East Side. That is the same church where Kat married her husband Bill and where they celebrated countless family milestones. Here's News 4's Andrew Siff. A cold and snowy morning outside St. Ignatius Loyola Church, but inside the sanctuary. There's a warm glow in this room, in this church. It is Kat smiling with us. Pastor Dennis Yesalonia offering comfort to colleagues, friends, and family of Catherine Craig, known to so many as Kat, a reporter for Today in New York each morning here at News 4 for the past decade. She died suddenly on February 10th. She was married here, baptized children here, and celebrated countless family milestones here. Kat was only 47 years old. Born in the Philippines, she spent much of her childhood in the Midwest, but graduated NYU before launching a career filled with talent, intelligence, and unmatched energy. Catherine fiercely loved her work and was awarded for it many times over, but she cherished her work colleagues even more. Colleagues like Freddie Luna and Neil Astro, superheroes to Kat for their tireless efforts behind the camera and in the live truck. The eulogy was just spot on. It was beautiful. It described Catherine perfectly. I'm going to miss everything about her. It was a beautiful celebration of life for a beautiful person who had a lot of faith and a lot of love. And it's a message to squeeze every single drop out of life. Kat's joyful presence out in the field touched the lives of countless New Yorkers, and she built lasting friendships with so many. I'm not in the NBC family anymore, but obviously I feel like family, and I just, I just told Freddie, her photographer, that every time I see an NBC truck, I would, out in the field, I'd run up to it to see if it was Kat. It so often was. She seemed to be everywhere, volunteering for Girl Scouts, active in the Filipino community, waking up at 1 a.m. for work, finding the strength somehow. This is the gift of Catherine. Kat showed us, get involved, be there. If I can juggle all of these things, what's holding you back? Of course, for Kat's husband, Bill, and their children, Jack, Gemma, and Josie, it's an unimaginable loss. The pastor offering a path forward through one of Kat's most signature traits. Go to a mirror and smile, and you will see Kat's reflection.